Welcome back to GSN Live. We are here with our special guest, Betty White. Thank you for still being with us, Betty. Well, thank you for this. And if this is live, I'll be as live as I can. <laughs> well, that's what I'm talking about. Shake them, don't break them, Betty. Okay. All right. You know, I, I don't think there's any question that people that have watched game shows over the years acknowledge that you are really one of the best game players oh, in the no. history. I, I just love, shows. I just love to play. I'm not one of the best. I just love, but I grew up. I was an only child, and my mother and dad and I were on the table or in the car when we were driving on vacation or anything. We were always playing games. So when I first started doing quite a few game shows, my dad said, you're getting paid to do what we've done for free all your life. Well, here at GSN, we play a game that we call Know Your Bettys. <laughs> and it's where we find out what our contestants know about famous Bettys, all right? Today, <laughs> in honor of you being with us, we thought it would be a great idea to turn it and see what you know about yourself. So now, here it is, a very special edition of Know Your Betty. <laughs> Betty! I don't even know myself when I put my makeup on in the morning. <laughs> well, we'll see if you know this. The questions are all about milestones in your entertainment career. Y'all ready to play? Do it. Sure. Okay, here we go. Here's your first question. Fool that I am. Which of your fellow Match Game panelists never used your real name and instead always referred to you as Victoria? <laughs> that was Chuck. Charles Nelson Riley. Correct, Charles Nelson Riley. Well done. That was perfect, perfect. Very solid. You know, there were, there were reports and people had said and, uh, for years that on the Match Game set after lunch, Everybody throw a couple back and we get ready for the afternoon session. I've heard that, you know, for years I've heard that. There was never any booze. There were, people would say, oh, well, you always knew when it was an after lunch show, because by that time, we were just silly. We were just nuts. And we were having such fun with each other that it was like a party. Well, you don't need booze necessarily. It helps. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we got along just fine without it. All right, all right. We got another question for you. Ready? Okay. Which episode of the Mary Tyler Moore Show was once ranked by TV Guide as the number one greatest television episode of all time? On the Mary Tyler Moore Show? Mm -hmm. I think that wasn't that the funeral, Chuck, Chucky's funeral? The clown? Yes. Correct. Yes. yes. Okay. You got it. Chuckles you got bites it. the dust. It chuckles bites the dust. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And then I got the giggles at the funeral. Oh, it was. You know, Betty, just like a real game show, I had to go over to the judges to make sure we were going right. to take that. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Okay, but we did take you it. You got it. Uh, the experience of working in the Mary Tyler Moore Show, a part of Americana, what was that like? Oh, it was wonderful. But it was such a close-knit, wonderful group. And we've had reunions since. In fact, Oprah did one yeah. not long ago. I think they're rerunning it again in a, in a week or so. And uh, it was just everybody cared about the show, and that doesn't always necessarily happen. Right. But whenever, instead of going back to their dressing rooms when they weren't in a scene, everybody would be hanging out. Now, why didn't that get a bigger laugh? What, what went wrong there? They were just, it was a joy, <laughs> just a joy. Okay. okay, are you ready now? No, I'm not, not ready. You got, you're two for two. You. You're two for Come two. On. Your third and final question. Let's play. What actress was originally supposed to play your character of Rose Nyland on The Golden Girls? Rue McClanahan. Correct. Rue McClanahan. Well done. Now. You don't have to chuck with the judge or anything like that? No, no. no. You, you beat we the buzzer on that you. one. You beat the buzzer on that one. And, you know, I mean, for someone who has done what you have for, for the, the number of years you have, to be blessed to be part of two shows, Mary Tyler Moore and Golden Girls. That is incredible. With that kind of writing, with that kind of words to say, we couldn't wait till we'd see, we'd never see the script until the Monday, you know, we'd see it for the first time and all read it for the first time. And it would just destroy us. It would crack us up. It was just, it was a privilege. Never taken for granted. Well, and no one has ever taken you for granted. No. Many years ago, you were an incredible player on Password. And even today, an incredible player on Million Dollar Password. Take a look at this. Container. Tupperware. That's not it. We go over to Linda and Betty. Um, hot? Uh, thermos. Yes! <laughs> Yeah.
You are a treasure and a pleasure, and we are so fortunate that you came to see us today. Well, yes. thank you, Fred and, and you Kelly. you hold a very special place in my heart because of your animal passion like me. Oh, <laughs> we're, 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 we're kindred souls. Yes. Betty White, thank you. GSN Live continues, so stay with us.